Hello guys, so today's video is on my Coach Zip Card Case and Signature Canvas in the color Gold Brown Black. It's literally like three different colors. <laughs> the gold, the brown, and the black. So, the dimensions... Sorry, I'm using my iPad, y'all. It's huge. Anyway... The dimensions are three inches long, four and a half, four and one fourth inches height, and three fourth inches width. It has, it's a signature coated canvas in smooth leather, two credit card slots, one ID window, open pocket, zip compartment, and a chain wrist strap with dog leash clip attached. The style number is C0058. Okay. And it was like 40 bucks plus tax and all. 40 bucks. Like 40 or 41 dollars. But that is it. It's not more than 41 dollars. Right now on the coach website is 3920 plus tax and shipping. Might be more. Just a little bit. Like I said, not too much. And that is it for the facts. Now let's get started on the video. So, this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty C signature canvas. This is the brown. This is smooth up here and smooth leather up here too as well where the credit cards are. Um, this is also canvas and then smooth over here for the for the ID window. I have just a picture of me and my family. Well, me and my boyfriend and our son. This is what fits inside. So, one card slot. You can actually put two in one. But I don't do that because I don't want to stretch it out. It looks so weird and then it leaves dense. Like, look, you can you leave dense. That's so crazy. This pocket gets on my nerves. But you can fit more cards in here but then it'll be bulky up here so it's honestly not convenient here is the little wristlet chain strap has the coach logo right here and on the other side you can attach it to the thingy like i have or you can attach it on here give me a second like this But your hand won't go through. But if you have it on the zipper like I do, then your hand will go through your wrist. If your wrist is as small as mine, <laughs> of course. I don't know if your wrist is like really much bigger than mine because I'm a tiny person and I have no idea how that'll work for you. But anyway, this is what fits inside. Bunch of cards and stuff like that. I have, give me one second, let me count this. So all of this, this is, um, you know, I have important cards in here like Medicaid, insurance, stuff like that. And then I have a few cards plus business cards. Give me one second. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six regular cards, you already know, and then about three business cards, so that's, I think about eight <laughs> cards, and, <laughs> and then whatever I have in insurance, which is like one hard, one hard insurance card, and the other ones are like paper, paper like insurance cards. Well, two of them, because then I have my next one on um, card in there. So, that's how much, that's how many cards it is. And then, if you want cash, this is my brother's wallet, using it as an example. I'll put it back. This is a $20 bill, one. Fits in here. Just fold it once. And it fits nicely. You see where it ends? And you zip it up 
There you go. Now, bills also fit in this part compartment nicely, just like that. But it will stick out, of course. And if you put more than like one bill and you have this many cards, which is already enough, like, look at that, like, you know, it's a lot. I um, previously had like, because I have a baby, I had a babysitter for my son while I was working. Now I'm not currently working because he was sick, and still is. Um, I had about about a hundred and a hundred dollars of twenties, which was twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a hundred. I had five twenty dollar bills, and those bills actually would slide up, would slide up. And they would get stuck in the zipper. No way, no. Because then, you know, if you freaking open it with, like, force, you're going to freaking rip the dang dollar bill. And then your money's all messed up. And then, especially if you have to put the money in an ATM or in the little um, self-checkout places, the stores, it's not going to take it because it's ripped apart, it's ripped apart, right? So, it's good for putting dollar bills like this folded, but I would fold them twice just in case so it doesn't get stuck in there. But it does get bulky, and like I said, if your dollar is folded just once, it's fine if you don't have a lot of cards. But if you have a lot of cards and you're trying to put bills in there, it and coins, by the way, I had coins previously in my, in my wallet, but I've switched them to a little pouch that I had because I'm trying to get a airman's coin purse so i can put my coins in it but it's gonna take a while so so yeah i um i had coins in here i had dollar bills in here and i had my my cards in there and it was just so bulky like super freaking bulky and it was so uncomfortable like and even then like the coins if you go if you have your wallet open like i did earlier i don't know if you guys noticed look it freaking comes out like what the heck it slides out, which is fine because obviously that's, like, that's to be expected if you have a soft leather like this one. But seriously, guys, like it gets so bulky, and it's like, what the heck? You have a bulky wallet. I don't think anybody likes a bulky wallet. But like I said, that's to be expected if you have a lot to carry. Like I said, this this wallet is nice. I like it, but it's not my favorite. But also keep in mind, I am a person that likes to switch in between bags. I'm not always happy with just one. I have to have like another one and another one and another one. Okay, when I discover a new wallet or something or a new bag, I have to have it, sort of. Because, <laughs> of course, you can't have a bag if you don't have money, right? <laughs> but yeah, I, I've been looking at a few bags and a few wallets and here and there. I'm definitely planning to switch out of this. But of course, I have to save the money for it because I'm not just going to spend a whole paycheck on freaking bags and wallets I, w I wish i could but i have a kid and i have to save up for him and i have to save up for things that he needs and also ourselves which is food and stuff like that so yeah but this bag like i said it's a good if you don't have a lot to carry i if you are okay with this size and you don't have a mini bag this is perfect for a regular size bag but I don't even know where I was going this. I'm sorry. This is good. But it's limited. It's limited to many things that you can put inside. So keep that in mind. If you have just a bunch of cards, you're fine. If you have cards, cash, and coins, you're going to be struggling a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, not too much. It'll be fun, but it'll be also be stressful, especially when you're in a hurry and you have, like, you know, stuff like that. So... But yeah, thanks for watching my video, and I hope it was helpful. Um, actually, I have a measurement, just in case you guys want to see how big it is. Well, not a measurement, actually. Let me use a freaking water bottle. Oh, my knees are giving in. Oh my goodness, I was touching them. That's how big it is. The sunny water bottle. Okay, yeah. And then, like this, you know. Alright y'all, thanks for watching. That's my hair. <laughs> I've highlighted my hair now. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Bye guys.